everyone. We are El Abente from PPD 10411 Code 4. My name is Mount Faisal Afik Pimanso and my teammates are Johnson Lucas and Lionel Sigar Anak James. Today we are going to present our e-poster which is about electronic waste or more known as e-waste. Hi, I am Mount Faisal Afik Pimanso. What is e-waste and why does it matter? E-waste is an electronic gadget such as a TV, PC, air conditioner, or washing machine that is defective, non-working, or old. Due to the enormous growth of demands on electrical and electronic devices and recycling after use, e-waste is becoming a global concern. Disposed e-waste often, if not properly treated, poses health and environmental harm. It is possible to reuse, refurbish, or recycle all of these e-appliances. These are the three main reasons why we should treat and recycle household e-waste properly. Number one, e-waste has a significant effect on environment and public well-being. Number two, e-waste rises in quantity and diversifies in form. And lastly, number three, e-waste is a resource. Hi, I'm Leonel Sigana Jem, and I will be talk on the issue sections. There are varying estimates as to the amount of domestic, regional, and global e-waste produce. According to STEP, which refer to solving the e-waste problem initiative, the 2012 global generations of e-waste totaled 45.6 million metric tons. The United Nations Environmental Program UNEP, approximated that the amount of e-waste produced in 2012 is enough to fill 100 Empire State buildings and average to more than 6.8 kg for every living person. The global population is nearly 7 billion, but although there are only 4.5 billion toilets worldwide, there are estimated to be at least 6 billion mobile phones. And in 2012 alone, China reportedly generated 11.1 million tons of e-waste, and the United States produced 10 million tons. This means that, on average, each American generates 29.5 kg of e-waste compared with the less than 5 kg per person in China. These numbers likely underestimate the actual total amount of e-waste. The sheer volume of e-waste is problematic, but more concerning is the repeat increase of this complex global waste stream. This waste is one of, if not the fastest growing source of waste worldwide. The 2012 UN report projected that by 2017, global US will increase a further 23% from 49.7 million to 65.4 million tons per annum. US from cell phones in India alone is expected to increase at in fall by 2020. The average lifespan of computers has reportedly dropped in recent years by 50% from 4 to 2 years. Hi. My name is Johnson Lucas. So I'm going to talk about the impact. So there are many impacts of e-waste on the environment and health. Lead has a well-documented history of adverse health effects, including brain injury, which is why paint and petrol are excluded. And the key sources of human health issues are the application of lead to the food supply and the environment, which is through the lead combustion. The normal processes of water and soil systems are affected by lead in the atmosphere. Mercury impacts both human and environmental well-being toxically. There is now a small number of light bulbs, new energy efficient CFLs in every household. If these light bulbs are crushed as part of the waste transfer process, the simple form of mercury is readily transmitted to local ecosystem. An aerobic breakdown happens while in the landfill and in conjunction with organic materials, contributing to the production of highly radioactive methyl mercury. Cadmium can cause cancer in humans. It quickly degrades soil quality within environmental processes, allowing flow to affect local ecosystem. It is also emitted if burning into the atmosphere. If e-waste is oxidized during smelting, it can emit bromine. In such conditions, emitted bromine can then be recombined with unoxidized carbon in smelter emissions in the form of brominated dioxins and furans. 
Inhalation of dust, mist, or fume containing beryllium or beryllium can induce a chronic lung disease called berylicosis in susceptible individuals. And beryllium is a probable human carcinogen. As polyvinyl chloride, PVC, components of electronic devices are sent to landfill, harmful chemical additives such as phthalates can leach away. Arsenic is a recognized skin, lung, bowel, liver, and kidney carcinogen with evidence showing lung cancer. Death, growth, suppression, photosynthesis, and reproduction, and behavioral influences of some flora and fauna species can be strongly impacted by arsenic on the ecosystem. And that is all for the presentations today. Thank you for listening.